Hello guys. <coughs> hi, hi, hi everybody. Hello. Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amanda and we are back again with another interesting topic. Okay, so if you can tell from the title below, you would know that this video is all about confidence. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all about confidence, you know, tips and tricks on how to look, appear confident, like appear comfortable and confident in your own skin. Okay, if you see me looking down, just know that I wrote down some tips. So that I wouldn't forget any point. I'm looking at my notes right now. So, and before we get right into the video, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? If you want to keep seeing this beautiful face, if you want to keep seeing me more frequently, please support my channel, okay? Let us grow this community into something beautiful. Like, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so anytime I upload a video, you get it. And let's get right on into the video. So, tip number one is knowledge, okay? Now, this tips on how to be confident is not just specific to only girls or women and all that stuff no this tip is actually for all genders all situation any um, situation you find yourself in so if you're a guy and you're watching this video don't click out because I'm sure you would get some important tips okay so the first one would be to gain knowledge in whatever it is you're doing you need to have knowledge so say for example you have a meeting or an interview or a gathering where you have no knowledge about a specific topic by the time you go there and you start speaking to people um, and they are all talking about something that they have in common while you you don't know anything on that topic you would, you know, either be quiet throughout and feel uncomfortable and that wouldn't actually seem like your confidence. It's actually exhibiting the way you carry yourself. So the first thing I would say is information is power. So I would advise you gain knowledge on whatever topic, whatever situation you're going to find yourself in. Gain knowledge, be informed, make sure you're prepared on that specific occasion. Number two would be to dress the part okay now if you're going for a dinner meeting dress like you're going for a dinner meeting if you're going for um to the beach dress like you're going to the beach if you're going to the club dress like you're going to the club i mean you don't want to wake up and dress like you're just going out to a club or you're going to hang out with friends when you're actually going for a formal dinner no by the time you enter that room and that environment you see others dress in a certain way and you would be you know shy or you wouldn't feel confident because you're not dressing the part of that occasion so dress the part of the occasion look good look nice it doesn't really imply that you should do makeup or anything because i know how people will be like oh this girl likes makeup too much no i mean like dress the part both boys and girls take a shower comb your hair look good smell good okay for people to take you seriously the first thing they see is you so they would need to be you would need to be able to be approachable by your look before people would want to hear what you have to say or what your what is coming in from inside you so try as much as possible to be clean and dress the parts now tip number three would be your posture and your charisma okay now i'm going to like sit up in this particular situation you might gain all the knowledge you have you might be dressing well but if your posture trust me guys this one actually does work if your posture is not good you're not going to look like you're confident so you have to 
sit up or stand straight with your back straight your head held high look into the eyes of the people you're talking to they are human beings like you so there's nothing to be afraid of say for example look at the way i look now even without saying anything just because of my posture and my appearance i kind of look confident but imagine if i'm like this and i'm not looking into your eyes you know i'm kind of do i still look confident i don't think so in as much as i have all the makeup and all you know i look clean but because i'm like this and you know i'm slouching i don't actually look confident to me so i feel like you should chest up good posture your chin held high look into the eyes of people you're talking to and say your piece and if you're in a situation whereby you do not know what to say you keep quiet listen and gain the knowledge that you're there for okay gain the knowledge that whoever it is you're communicating with is given out to you but remember to always carry yourself gracefully carry yourself like you know your boss like you, you want to be in that environment no matter the place you're in dinner meeting um office meeting interview even at the beach okay even in the club good posture cross your leg don't like don't even think for a second that you know what it like hype yourself inside so that the confidence will like exhibit outside i don't know if i'm making sense but if i'm making sense give this video a thumbs up okay now the next one would be thinking positively and rationally okay always before you leave your house in the morning in any situation always think positively or always think you know give your feed yourself with positivity don't feel like you're not good enough you're not meant to be in that environment you're not meant to be giving out the information you're giving out like who for example maybe if, if if I'm in a situation whereby I'm talking with people that have been married for like 20 years or 30 years and I've just been married for a couple of years and I have some information that is important when it's coming to marriage. This is just an example, right? And then I'm looking at all these people and I know I have this information but because they are way more experienced or way more advanced, I would feel like who am I to like contribute or to give them my opinion no 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 don't think that way because everybody's situation is not the same you might have just started your marriage but you might have a lot of knowledge that would actually help those people out if they should put it in their situation so always think you're good enough speak your mind say your piece and if they don't want to take the information then that's on them okay just think positively you're good enough you're beautiful you're handsome you have the knowledge if you don't have knowledge and you make a mistake it's room to learn okay so always think positively that's that one and then another one would be speak positivity now this one is thinking in your head the next one is speak okay wake up in the morning look at yourself in the mirror and say baby girl you look good now even if you've not taken a shower you've not um maybe you're overweight or you're underweight or there's this part of your body you're insecure about look at yourself in the mirror and say that you look good you appreciate where you are right now and that doesn't mean you wouldn't want to do anything to improve your situation but it just means loving you for who you are that love and that speech that you're saying to yourself all the time that positive speech because there's power in the tongue would actually flow through your body and you would exhibit confidence in all aspects of anything you're doing if you think you're that girl Hmm? 
and you're talking to people, even if it's on something that you just gained knowledge about, trust me, they would want to listen because the energy flowing from inside you or from within you would be pushing out so much that people around you would just want to stop and listen. Okay, so that's that one. And the final one, which also goes hand in hand in thinking positively and speaking positively is accepting yourself for who you are and where you are at. Now, on this tip, I said where you are at because your situation can change within the like, slightest minute or within a split second. Your situation can change. So, accept yourself and love yourself for who you are, inward and outward. Love yourself enough in order to make a better or the best version of yourself. And that is the only way that you will be confident in your own skin. And no matter the situation you're in, you will just stand out and people will look and be like, that girl is actually confident. She looks confident in her own skin. If you love yourself and you accept yourself for where you are, you know that there is room for improvement and you can always work on yourself, okay? So accept who you are and where you are at. Now, this is my final tip for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't want to take too much of your time. Thank you guys for watching. If you love this video and you like this type of video, please leave a comment in the section. Give me ideas. Let me bring out content for you, okay? But this is the tips I have for you on how to exhibit the confidence that I know is within you, okay? So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!